Did you know that many people flying first or business class do not pay for the airfare even though they can afford it? And that's because rich people understand and exploit the systems of personal finance and in particular credit cards. I want you to understand how the rich are using credit cards and how you can do the same so that you never have to pay for airfares again. Before I get into it, I want to prove to you that I'm not chatting far and show you you a couple of receipts literally so here's a receipt for a seven hour business class flight with Malaysia Airlines and you can see the airfare equals zero here's another receipt for Qatar Airways Q suite from Abu Dhabi to London again the airfare paid is zero Although these are both business class examples, this can also be done for economy class flights. Some of you may want to switch off after hearing the word credit card, but there's a reason why we are not taught the basics of personal finance in school. This lack of financial foundational information in terms robs us of financial and experiential freedom like being able to travel. However, the rich understand the principles of personal finance and using credit cards to be rewarded for their everyday purchases. FYI, anything I say in this video about credit cards is not financial advice. Certain credit cards will give you certain benefits when you use them. In the case of travel reward credit cards, these benefits can include companion vouchers, which are essentially a buy one, get one free voucher on flight tickets, free upgrade vouchers, airport lounge access, and the list goes on. Besides these benefits, you will earn points or air miles every time you use these cards. These points can then be used to redeem against the cost of a flight. But there are many components to the total price of an airplane ticket. An airfare is just only one component. Using air miles allows for the airfare to be wavered, hence why it was zero. However, you'll still need to pay fees and taxes, which is next to nothing when you compare it to the full cash price. For example, I had to pay £34 in fees and taxes for the Malaysia Airlines seven hour business class flight. The rich also understand that credit card companies make money via transaction fees every time the card is used. For example, when you buy your groceries at Sainsbury's and pay using a card, the card issuer will charge Sainsbury's a transaction processing fee. Therefore, the more you use the card, the more money the card issuer makes. So the card issuer offers rewards and incentives to the consumer, that's you and I, for using the card. One of the incentives is earning air miles and points every time you use the card. In the UK, there are several credit cards that can be used to acquire points or air miles. Some of these cards have a fee and some don't. Another incentive is a sign up bonus. Almost all the UK travel reward credit cards offer a sign up bonus in the range of 5,000 to 40,000 points when you open them and meet the minimum spend criteria. This is one of the fastest ways to acquire a large amount of air miles within a short period, normally around three months. Occasionally, there are promotions on sign up bonuses. The maximum I've ever seen in the UK is the potential to earn up to 100,000 points however this level of promotion and sign up bonuses happen every blue moon if you want to maximize your sign up bonuses there's a certain order that you'll want to open your credit card i'm giving away a free guide on how to do this for a limited period of time i'll leave details of this linked in the description now in this day and age i can't believe it's still taboo to talk about money call me a conspiracy theorist but I believe that this is by design. The rich understand that through collaboration and knowledge sharing and not secrecy, you get real growth. And so they have conversations about money, financial tools and services, including credit cards. They know that with certain credit cards, they'll be rewarded for referring a friend or family member. If you have one of the Amex reward cards, you can earn up to 90,000 points each year 
for referring a family member, friend, and they don't even have to open the same card as you. In turn, your referral will also receive a bigger sign-up bonus than what they would have received if they had opened the card without your referral. So it really is a win-win situation. If you are looking to open an Amex credit card and don't know anyone who can refer you, I can share my link with you. Again, I'll leave details of that in the description. So how can you emulate what the rich are doing? Firstly, you want to choose and open the right credit card or cards. Then move your everyday spending to the credit card and receive the welcome bonus. Preferably, you want to be referred by an existing card holder to get a bigger sign up bonus. Then share this information and have discussions about this. In turn, you'll be able to boost your points earned by referring your partner, your family members, your friends, and even your colleagues. When you've collected enough points, you can then use it to book flights. You may want to take this a step further and do your shopping online through shopping portals to earn even more points. Watch this video next to find out more.